Joining us now from Washington is the U.S. Surgeon General, Dr. Jerome Adams. Dr. Adams, thank you again for joining us. We really appreciate your time. We know how busy that you are, but want to get your thoughts on some things because at first it was said 15 days was needed to slow the spread. Then the president extended it to the end of April. Many people are wondering what are the chances that that's going to be enough, doctor? Well, uh, the original 15 days was designed to slow the spread and for us to have time to reassess. And we learned some good things and some bad things. The bad things that we learned are that there are places across the country, no place has been spared, no state has been spared from the spread of this disease. But the good news is when you look at places like Washington, when you look at places like California that aggressively mitigated in social distance, they were able to level and flatten their curves. And so we're looking at this next 30 days as an opportunity for the entire country to really understand if we do the right things, then we can flatten our curves in our own different areas and actually get, up, get to the other side. You ask, is 30 days gonna be enough? Well, it will be for some places, it won't be for others, depending on where they are on their curve. But the most important thing to know is that if you are aggressive about mitigation, you can get through to the other side and usually in about three weeks or so uh, to hit your peak and start to see cases come down. That is the hope. Uh, the debate about masks, I know about a month ago, you weighed in at first and you were saying, do not buy, do not wear masks if you're healthy. And now the CDC and others are changing their recommendations. So where do you stand right now on people wearing masks that do not have symptoms? Well, thank you for the opportunity to clear the air on that, Robin. Initially, the CDC, the World Health Organization and my office recommended against the general public wearing masks based on the best available science at the time in terms of whether or not it prevented the wearer from catching coronavirus. Now we've learned about this disease and we've always said we're gonna learn more, we're gonna adjust, and we've learned that there's a, a fair amount of asymptomatic spread and so we've asked the CDC to take another look at whether or not having more people wear masks will prevent transmission of the disease to other people. But here's the most important thing. Now, even if you do wear a mask, it can't be at the expense of social mm -hmm. distancing. We don't want people to think, hey, I'm gonna wear a face covering so it's appropriate for me to go out around other people. The most important thing right now to do is for people to stay at home. And again, the CDC is looking at whether or not we should be recommending more people wear masks when they go out. The final point I would make to people on masks is if you are gonna wear a face covering when you go out, please understand you still don't need an N95 mask. And if you take one of those N95 right. masks, you may be taking it out of the hands of a healthcare worker who desperately needs it to care for patients. Yeah, that's a good point, and I'm glad that you made that. Uh, a, a final question. Uh, you were talking about how stay at home, but you know that's not the case all across the country. There are some states that have not issued that, like in Florida. Do you believe that governors, more governors, need to have stricter guidelines in their states about staying at home? Well, what we want everyone to do is to look at these 30 days to, stay, to stop the spread guidelines, including social distancing, staying six feet away from one another, including limiting large gatherings. We trust the governors and the mayors to understand their people and understand whether or not they feel like they can trust the people in their states to make the right decisions. And you see that many governors have said, look, we don't want to take any chances. Uh, we're going to ask people to shelter in place. Uh, but the most important thing is, regardless of how you do it in your state, you should encourage and enable as many people as possible to stay at home, including providing them social supports so that they can do the right things. And that's why that bill that was passed last week was so incredibly important. We don't want people to feel like they're going to lose their job or, or miss out on opportunities to be able to support their families because they're doing the right things. And they're thinking about that. It's April 1st. A lot of, a lot of bills are due today. Dr. Adams, We're going to get through this, though, Robin. We, we really back. will. And the good news, like I said, is Washington, Italy, as you all mentioned earlier, um, new, uh, even in New York, right. we're seeing acceleration slowdown. I feel confident that we can get through to the other side if we all cooperate and do our part together. Thank you, Dr. Adams. Appreciate that. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.